there. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can be here this morning. Thank you that we have your word so freely available to us, Lord. Help us as we study it to uh, understand it, to rightly divide it, Lord, and to be able to learn from it and to put into practice uh, the lessons, uh, what you have in there for us, Lord. So help us to have uh, ready hearts to hear from your word, Lord, in your name, amen. So the book of Galatians, um, as you read through it, I was kind of uh, hit with the comparison of uh, when you're a child, and I know you might have to think back a little bit on this one, but when you're a child and your, your dad calls you in when you've uh, messed up, when you've done something bad, when you've done something you shouldn't, and he uh, sits you down and he lays the law down and he uh, might do that with a spoon or he might just do that with his mouth, um, with the words of his mouth. But So if you think about yeah, one of those times where you sat in front of your dad with that fear because you knew you've done the wrong thing, and I'm not talking about where you've uh, done something that you didn't know you weren't allowed to do or you're learning a lesson through it, but I mean when, when your dad or perhaps it's your boss or um, maybe when you're in school, a teacher or something, and you know um, that what you've done is wrong and yet they come and they sit you down and they say, look, this is what you've done wrong, you know it's wrong, and they lay it out plain and simple for you. And it's not the greatest feeling, but uh, if we're open to learn from it, then um, while it might not be fun at the time, we can learn a lot from it. And the book of the, uh, the letter to the Galatians from Paul is kind of similar, similar to.